Uh, to say the least, this is a much deserved honor for Michael Finley. His jersey will forever be uh, up in the rafters at the Cole Center, the jersey retirement up there with Frank Kaminsky and Ab Nicholas and Michael kind enough to join us now in the midst of a busy schedule. Of course, uh, the NBA is the weekend approaches be an all-star weekend with the Dallas Mavericks in the thick of it in the NBA's Western conference. Uh, Michael, first off uh, again, congratulations to you on this, on this honor again, richly deserved when, when you were told that this was going to uh, finally happen, uh, what, what was your reaction to it? Uh, it was a, it was a, a sense of joy. Um, I was very thankful, you know, to get the honor to, you know, have my jersey retired. Uh, like you said, it's, a lot of people have been questioning why it took so long, but, you know, you know, God has his plan. So it happened, you know, at, at, at the time when he thought it was right for me. So I'm forever grateful. Uh, and when I got the call, I was, I was completely overjoyed. It was fun in Chicago when the the formal presentation was made that there was going to be this this weekend for you this this event at the Cole Center on February twentieth and a lot of your teammates were there and, and some guys who were for you who are former Badger players who weren't necessarily your teammates but they wanted to be a part of it um, would I be right in assuming that that kind of thing obviously your family means the world and your basketball family having all those guys there had to mean a lot to you. Oh, yeah, it was great. It was great because, you know, I, I couldn't, uh, although it's my number going up, it's, a, it's an accomplishment for all, you know, those before me uh, that played at UW and those after me as well. So it's just a, a sense of accomplishment and to uh, have those guys there to help celebrate this uh, achievement was, was very, was very overwhelming. You know, it was, it was great. Michael, you were a part of something that had not happened here for 47 years, and that's be part of an NCAA tournament team. I think you know, a, lot of, a lot of younger fans, um, this is my old man moment, a lot of fans get spoiled because they're in the tournament all the time. There was a 47-year gap. When you guys got in there, you and Tracy and Richard and that group, in 1994, did you, did you fully understand? I, I mean, obviously you're thrilled at the moment to go. But did you understand the significance of it at the time that you guys had accomplished something that had not happened for nearly 50 years? Well, you know, when you're when you're when you're in the moment, you don't really uh, uh, you appreciate it, but you don't understand the history behind it. Uh, you know, going into college or or choosing to go to Wisconsin or whatever university, especially as a, a student athlete, you assume that you're going to make the tournament every year. But that's not the case. And for us to, you know, finally uh, break that mold, so to speak, and get in and be a part of the tournament. And from there, the guys after us continue that momentum going forward. Uh, looking back on it, it was a great accomplishment. It was it was one of my better moments at the university that I will always remember. Do you remember now? I mean, it, it, People need to understand you averaged 20 points a game three straight years. No one's done that period since Johnny Davis might this year, but 20 points a game is, is nuts in today's college of basketball to do it three straight years. Do you remember either as a freshman, sophomore, whenever, where you felt like, yeah, not only am I good enough to play in the Big Ten, but I could be a standout. Was there a game or a stretch of games where it really started to hit home to you? Well, I, I always had the utmost confidence in my game. Uh, it was just trying to figure out the college game. Uh, it's, 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 it's vastly different from coming from high school. You're literally playing against grown men. I was 18 going against guys that were 22 and 23 years old, and I felt it on a nightly basis. But once I got the feel of what it took to, to be competitive and be successful, especially in the Big Ten, uh, I kind of, I kind of enjoyed that moment. And then with the, with my, with my coaches, uh, Coach Yoder, to give me the opportunity to, to start some games early, that boosted my confidence. And then with, with Coach Jackson coming in, and Stan Van Gundy, even increasing my confidence in my uh, play level, uh, was 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 very was very comforting. Uh, it just, it just showed me that hard work definitely pays off. 
And I knew if I kept working on my game and kept doing what I needed to do to improve myself and the team that uh, I can have a great chance to be a dominant force in the Big Ten. I tell you, there's one game that stands out, and it, it, the timing is great that Michigan is the opponent, Jawan Howard, part of the Fab Five. Michael, I think back to 1992. Um, it was when we all knew that, that Coach Yoder was going to finish the season but not return the following year. But what you guys did to the Fab Five that night, you and Tracy and everybody, I think you, I think you hung 90-something on them. Uh, do you remember – I would imagine you remember that night. What really – sticks with you to this day about your team's performance at the field house. Oh man. I, re I remember that day. I remember that game. It was, it was a big game. I think Michigan at the time was ranked in the top five at the time and was getting all the hype around the country and around the big 10 as a potential team that could actually win the national championship. So for us, this was our chance as we were saying around the locker room, let's shock the world. Let's show them that, you know, Coming into uh, the madhouse in Madison, the field house is, is, is not is not an easy win. And, you know, they came in. They were very, very cocky group uh, with a lot of swagger. And I mean, we took it to them. Uh, we we didn't we didn't hold back. Uh, I had a, a pretty good game for myself and the crowd was into it. And it was like that was like our first tournament experience, so to speak. And, you know, we took it to him. And to this day, uh, I remind Juwan every once in a while about that game that, you know, I think I had 30, 30 points that game. And from there, we, I just took it to the next level and us as a team, I think, as well. Yeah, I, I tell people the Fab Five wore Cardinal and White that night at the field. I was, you mentioned that, being in that building. The Cole Center has been home, and it's been a great home for the Badgers for the last 24 years. But those field house days, every, everyone I've talked to, Michael, who played in that era wouldn't trade it. There was just a little something special about a big game atmosphere in that building, was there not? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the Cole Center is one of the best arenas for college basketball in the country. But the field house, um, it was it was special. It, it was a it was a it was a very intimate atmosphere where the crowd, the crowd never uh, wavered, meaning that even though we played some bad games, uh, the crowd, the fans were always into it. And the, and the stands were always packed from floor to ceiling in, in Badger Red. And I always felt comfort going into the field house, knowing that at, I, I couldn't always depend on some of my teammates, but I can depend on the crowd to be into the game um, uh, each and every each and every game, whether, whether there was great weather outside or a snowstorm, the fans piled in there and made it a warm environment. And I could still smell the popcorn when I came in early for the games. It was just a, it was just a great atmosphere for college basketball. And I know a lot of players that I played against hated playing in the field house and I loved it. So it was good. Michael, how often can you keep in touch with your teammates? Obviously one is, I guess you're his boss now with Tracy Webster, <laughs> Dallas got with the Mavericks, but some of the other guys, how often can you, can you keep in touch with your former teammates? Well, it's been great since uh, this new technology with, with group, group chatting and group texting where we could, uh, you know, text each other, you know, catch up on, you know, family, how, how our kids are doing, uh, Maybe even trying to to um, get together for some vacation or golf. I mean, I've I've tried to keep in contact with those guys as much as possible because a lot of people don't understand they were not only my teammates but they were good friends, and I went to battle with them each and every night. And when you do that and you have respect for that guy next to you, that's the bond that you have for life. Although we didn't have the ultimate success at the college level. Uh, our friendship would, would last forever. And I, I, I truly, I truly, I truly appreciate those guys as my teammates and more so as my friends. I remember, Michael, you, you've said at least once here in the last few months, and maybe more than that, that it wasn't always roses. I think those were your words. Um, you, you mentioned the three coaches that, that you played for and all really good and, and respected in, in their industry without a doubt. But when it got a little rocky, you look back at, at the success that you have had now, 
Um, did that help you in a lot of ways? Did, that, did it make you an even tougher person to be able to handle it when things weren't going quite right? Yeah, it prepared me. It prepared me, you know, how to um, endure adversity, whether it's in sports, in life, in business. How do you endure that? And I think it, it, it taught me a lot of valuable lessons. And, you know, if I can talk back to the 18, 20 year old Michael Finley now, I would approach the situation a lot differently because of what I learned during those uh, those, those rough years. Uh, but it's definitely, you know, has prepared me that, you know, like I've been saying, everything is not roses, but you have to find the, uh, the, the silver lining, so to speak, in any bad situation. And for me, you know, just um, being at the, at the university away from basketball, I have friends that, that kept me uh, at peace. And those friends that I met during my four years there, we're still friends now. So, uh, that was one blessing that I did find in the midst of all the, the madness, so to speak. I want to circle back to you talking about your teammates a couple of minutes ago. The when when I when anybody mentions to you about your days at the University of Wisconsin, you know there could be great moments, a great game here, or whatever. What comes to mind first? What are your best memories from your time at the University of Wisconsin? Oh man. My best memories, um, you know, as a basketball player coming in, you know, my first flight ever was my visit to Wisconsin. And I still remember that day I was nervous getting on the plane, didn't know what I was getting into. But when I came uh, on my visit, you know, the guys welcomed me with open arms. Uh, the fans not knowing anything about this skinny kid from Chicago, but they welcomed me with open arms. Uh, going to the football games, I had never been to a football game, whether college or professional. And that was like a professional atmosphere to me as well. Just the, the overall love that I got from, from Badger Nation uh, when, I got to, to, when I got to Wisconsin, the four years I was there will always be uh, a memory that, that I will always uh, – Hold, hold close to my heart. How often in the midst of your busy schedule now, how often can you sneak a peek at the current Wisconsin Badgers? Oh yeah, it's my job now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and it helps that the team is, is doing, doing good. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm proud of the way that the, the, the team is playing. Um, it's, it gives me bragging rights when I can, you know, talk to, uh, some of my colleagues or other uh, alums from the Big Ten uh, gives me bragging rights that I can say that the Wisconsin team is one to 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 be reckoned with when it comes to one of the better uh, college basketball teams in the game today. So that's that's good. One more for you. You're going to be able to keep your emotions in check this weekend when the jersey goes up. Uh I think so. I think uh, in Chicago, I got a little bit emotional because just seeing everybody there uh, celebrating me. I've always been a guy that tries to, you know, have my successes behind closed doors, so to speak. I, 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 I kind of shied away from the limelight. That's not the type of guy I am. But that day in Chicago uh, kind of brought it out to me. And this time in Madison, my mom will be there. So she wasn't able to attend in Chicago. And I think it's a special moment for her. So, cause she was as big a part of my success as, at the university as, as any of my teammates. I think she made every home game, rain, sleet or snow, she was there. So it'll be a little bit emotional just to see her, to see her be celebrated and, and, and to see her be recognized. So from that standpoint, it, it, it probably will be a little emotional. You know, Michael, I, I can tell you that you are as respected a basketball player, as respected a student athlete, and I make that more of a, a, an all-encompassing term, as respected a student athlete as anyone I've ever seen in 30 plus years that, that I've been around the program. So again, so richly deserved. I hope you have a great weekend. I, I know you will. Safe travels and keep the Mavericks going. So you guys got a pretty good team down All there, right. it looks like this year. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. We're... Uh... We're, we're going in the right direction out here, and hopefully uh, the Badgers can 
continue to go in the right direction in Madison as well. Absolutely. Michael Finley being recognized finally this weekend at the Cole Center. Stay with us. More to come as the Badger Sports Report continues.